Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're going to be talking about Cricut machines or silhouette machines and basically what they do and how to use them for your candles and labeling. Uh, this is something that's definitely popped up a lot in the group recently and it's something that I've been doing with some of my tins, some of my candles for a little while so I wanted to make a video about it and basically show people what they are, kind of how they operate and how well they work when you put them on candles, especially when they burn. Now. If you've been on my Instagram page, you've seen this right here. This is the top of the melt tin that I have. I think this one actually has a candle in it, but on the top of the lid, I have the Stanley logo printed, and you can't really see it right here, but that is a vinyl sticker. It's a die cut vinyl sticker. Uh, only the letters, only the word Stanley is printed. It's not a square label with Stanley in the middle of it. Uh, it is a completely cut out sticker that you can apply to your candle jars, that you can apply to your candle jars and tins. Now, at some point, I'll definitely do another video where I go through and I show the silhouette machine that I've got downstairs, how to bring how to bring in uh, different file types and how to cut them out, set them up so that when you do print them and it prints on something like this, and again, you can't see it too well, try to get the light to bounce off of it. Uh, this is a bunch of Stanley logos just printed over and over in black vinyl. And what we're gonna do with these today is I'm gonna go ahead and peel those out. Uh, I've already made the labels, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them out, peel them, and then put the contact paper over the top of it, and then we're gonna go ahead and label these jars with the Stanley logo. And then of course, once we get them labeled up, I'm gonna go ahead and pull one out uh, and then test burn it so that we can see how well it does on the side of glass, because that's probably the number one question that was in the group is, how well does it stand up when the candle's burning? Uh, is it gonna peel off? Is it gonna melt? Is it gonna catch on fire? And the answer should be no. These, uh, these are the same type of vinyl labels that you're gonna find in any professional style label. Any professional label, uh, like if you went to lightninglabels.com and ordered their labels, they're gonna be a peel off sticker vinyl that's gonna be the exact same material. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over and we're gonna start peeling some of these apart. And I'll show you exactly how to peel the stickers off, apply the contact paper and apply it to a jar. All right, so what we've got here is the first set of labels. It basically comes out on a 12 by 12 sheet. And you can see right there, it's basically just a razor blade that kind of cuts through the vinyl just enough to make a sticker. And then we go ahead and cut those up. <clears throat> and then I've got a black one and a white one. And we're gonna go ahead and peel these off. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off with a knife or an exacto knife or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little bit of the sticker and then it should peel right off pretty easily. And you can already see the beginnings of the Stanley and then you'll go back through and you gotta get these little parts in between the letters. And this is the, they call this weeding where you're going through and just removing the excess pieces that aren't a part of the sticker. And that's pretty much it for the black one. We'll go ahead and do the white one real quick. And then once you're done cutting that stuff out, you're gonna grab this stuff right here and this is a uh, kind of like another type of sticker with adhesive on the background. And you peel 
peel that part off. And we're gonna go ahead, <clears throat> place that directly over the sticker. And then once you do this part, you wanna take your fingernail or like a credit card, uh, anything with a hard edge and just kind of smooth that out so that the contact paper sticks to the actual sticker. And we'll go ahead and do the black one real quick. Just making sure that gets stuck in all parts. Because what we're gonna do is now take this white jar and then you're gonna grab, see, about lost it. So you gotta watch it when you peel that off that you don't take some of the lettering with you. That one's not wanting to come off very well. Normally these just come right off. I didn't. There we go. So basically we've got it backwards on the sticker side, but once you flip it around and then we go ahead and Place it on the jar. And then again, just go ahead and rub over that so that it gets all that adhesive on the sticker on the jar. And it doesn't take long. And then we'll just go ahead and peel this off. That's that one. And you can feel it. I mean, it's a, it's a die cut sticker, so it stands out above the glass. Let's go ahead and do the black one. These usually peel off pretty good with no problems. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. And that's it right there. All right, so that's pretty much it right there. Uh, very quick and easy, the Cricut machine and the Silhouette machine. There's two different types. There's a Cricut and there's a Silhouette. They both do the exact same thing. And you can go to Amazon or anything like that just to see what the differences are between them. Uh, and they've got some really nice ones. I've got an older model and I've been meaning to upgrade to some of the newer ones with like Wi-Fi and everything like that, but I just haven't done it. But now that I'm making a new jar with these labels, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade and actually get one finally or get the new one finally. But you can see that uh, the label looks really nice. Uh, the Cricut machine, the silhouette machine, the vinyl labels like this, they just add like a real nice professional look. Uh, it's a real clean look and you can't really see it in this. 
but the lettering on this one actually has a little bit of edges and it, it catches every single one of those. So it's not a clean line and it's meant to be that way. The font has like a little bit of a script or a kind of a rough edge like a, uh, but it comes out really nice. And like you saw in the video with the burn, uh, it, there was no issues whatsoever. It burned for probably four hours. There, the label wasn't hot, the vinyl wasn't hot, the glass was hot, but the vinyl stayed perfectly still. It was great. So that definitely answers the question that a lot of people had is how do they hold up in a glass container that's gonna get really hot and they do extremely well. Now I have a lot of people asking if you can do your entire label with the Silhouette machine and the Cricut machine. Uh, you definitely can, but where you're gonna run into issues is when you start getting down, getting down to real small fonts. Uh, it does incredibly well with fonts like this or logos or lettering or any type of picture that's a little bit bigger like this uh, where you can get the razor blade in there, it cuts it really well. Where you're gonna run into issues is when you get real small fonts. Uh, so if you're doing like your website across the bottom or something like that, you might run into issues with the razor blade kind of cutting that small. So it's definitely something that you need to play with, kind of test, uh, find out what you wanna do. I like the Silhouette Machine just for doing my main logo and then I'll put the rest of it on a sticker logo or a sticker label that goes on the back or the bottom or whatever. But something that's kind of bigger and bold and kind of stands out, that's what I usually like to do on the Silhouette Machines. And for those that are interested, I've included a link to the Cricut and the Silhouette Machine uh, down in the video description down below. So if you wanna check them out, go ahead and click on the links down below. You can jump onto Amazon. They're at Michael's, Walmart. They're pretty much everywhere. I think they typically go for around two to 300. The newer ones might be a little bit more expensive, but uh, there for a while, I think Amazon had them on sale for like 225. And you can pretty much pick up the vinyl everywhere. Like I said, Michael's has it. Uh, I believe Walmart has a bunch of different vinyls, all kinds of different colors. And then of course the Cricut and the Silhouette machines both do iron-on transfer. So if you wanted to make t-shirts, those machines do that as well. My Stanley handcrafted shirts that I have and I wear in a lot of my videos, I made those shirts with the Silhouette machine. Now, obviously it's not a vinyl, it's a different type of material, but it's an iron-on material and it works extremely well. So if you are interested in one of those, I've included links in the video description down below. So jump over, take a look at them. Uh, if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, like I said, I'm gonna be doing another video where I actually show how to bring the design you want into the Silhouette machine software and then go through and, and do like a whole video on cutting it out and how you set that up. So if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this one, I'll try to follow up and answer them in that next video. And that's pretty much it. You can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I also have listed in the video description down below. Instagram, Facebook, my website, the email address if you wanna reach out. And then of course I have links down there to all of the eBooks and I just released uh, earlier today how to make a candle business eBook. Uh, it's 28 pages and it goes through and talks about everything as far as like uh, how to approach stores, getting into farmer's markets, getting into stores, uh, GS1 certification, which I talked about on a previous video, which are the barcodes to get into the larger stores. And then of course it touches on like licensing permits and anything like that. So if you're in the beginning stages and you're looking at just getting started uh, and you want kind of like a, a step forward or kind of like a guiding hand in what to look for and how to, and basically how to start your candle business from the ground up. This is a great ebook and I have the link in the video description down below. So, and of course, as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.